I literally don't study and get the highest grades in my class. Everything I do is apply four principles when I'm at school. Here's how I do it. We know deep down inside what we need to do to get straight A's. I learn how to study effectively. Rice eating 20 hours a day studying good at everything type of student. The problem is that mindset converting the tips. I am that guy in school. This is how you look in the morning. I'm serious. It's not surprising that you don't pay attention in class. Energy is the first pillar of ETH. If you're not fully awake in school, you won't learn anything. So how do you know if you're sleeping enough? Well, you must wake up naturally. Simply set an alarm for bedtime and slide it back until you can wake up by yourself in the morning. If that sounds too hard because you have a social life, stay tuned for a future video about sleep. For some reason, you're always getting distracted in school. This doesn't happen because you're broken. You simply hate it. You hate school. If school were actually fun, you'd enjoy it and start listening, right? It turns out that you can do the opposite. If you change your attitude first, school is gonna become funnier. This sounds stupid, I know. But the second pillar of ETH is attitude. So. How exactly do you change your attitude? Let's say you're studying math. Try to find something you kind of enjoy about it. It can be as simple as, I like graphs. Every time you feel bored, think about those graphs and repeat to yourself, this is actually pretty interesting. Having the right attitude will improve your grades, period. The reason I don't need to study is that I make sure to understand everything the teacher says in class. If I miss something, I literally say, I got distracted. Could you repeat what you just said, please? Call me weird, but this saves me hours a day. In this video, you'll learn that you should sleep and ask questions. Wow. Now comes the cool stuff. The techniques I use to memorize any subject easily. If you want to remember what you hear in class, you must organize that information. For some people, listening is enough, while most should take some sort of notes. It doesn't matter if you make mind maps or simply highlight the book. What's important is that you only select the most important parts. Your brain is made to remember stories. Have you ever wondered why you recall everything about your favorite TV series? It feels real. You can see the faces of the protagonists. Let's apply this to history. Make the characters come to life. Use drawings, stock photos, or AI if you want. Don't do bullet points. Study history as if it was a movie. Sometimes you need to memorize things fast. This is when mnemonic techniques really help. I use two of them for school, the phonetic number system and the link method. Let's be real, this video will not make you a genius. You won't get the results that smart students get if you don't become a smart student first. And to become a smart student, you need to implement the right habits in your life. Reading is insanely useful, not because of the knowledge you gain from it, but because it makes you better at writing and talking. Oh, but Richard, I don't like reading. I was actually forced to read when I was young and now I can't help but... Veramente? Non mettere il gomito così, veramente? Ma va a cagare! I'm sure that in your class, there's a student, usually a girl, who speaks so softly that she's basically whispering. You want to be the opposite. When asked a question, breathe deeply and freaking use your voice. Let me give you some tips if this doesn't come naturally. Uh, this is a tip. Scream right now, just like I did. If you feel embarrassed, your social skills are way below average and you must do this daily. Another great way to increase your social skills is cold approaching. It basically means talking to random people in random situations. I started a few weeks ago and I feel like a new person now. It feels hard at first, but it boosts your confidence enormously. I'll make a video about it in the near future, but you can follow this channel that helped me a lot if you want to learn more. Let's make this section short and valuable. Attitude. Every time you get bored in class, say to yourself, this is 
actually pretty interesting. Techniques. When at school, always underline the textbook or take notes. Habits. Go on Amazon and find a fiction book that looks interesting. Energy. Click on this video to learn more about sleep maxing.